So, back at the carriage today, and after a hunt, we have got our shiny new baby. This is the ring that fits in the inside of the wheel. This one goes in there. But I'll show you later on how to do that. It takes a wee bit more brute force nindons. Something I'm quite good at. But that fits in, but it has to go all the way in so that it's sitting on that. I don't know if you can see that ring on the inside, so it has to go all the way into the inside there. As I say, we've got our shiny new bearings. A good way to show which one's which. You'll see one has a large hole in the centre and one has a smaller hole in the centre. And if you just look at the, the hub here, so you'll see that the one with the large hole goes on and fits there. And the one with the small hole goes on and fits there. Once it's all put back together. The only thing you have to remember is which bearing you took out of which ring. you do have to watch is that you keep the rings with their bearings until you have put them into the rings into your actual wheel because you don't want to get the two of them mixed up they are slightly different in size not much but slightly right so quite some of the tools I need for a um, putting the New ring, which is from the top here, back into the hub. Now this is the outside ring for the outside bearing to sit in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat up the rim so that it expands a wee bit. With a blowtorch. The other thing I'm going to use to help put this in the ring in is the ring from the old baby. So in there. I've also got a piece of pipe and a big hammer. Very big hammer. So I'm just going to heat this up a wee bit. And the important thing you have to remember is that you have to get the ring in square. There's no point in putting it in at an angle. It has to be flush. It wasn't me, that was the thing. Alright, that should be enough. Now I've got the ring that I've got in there, i just put a wee bit of grease on it. And I'm going to set it nice and gently on the inside there. And then the old ring. I'm going to set on the top and then I'm going to get my piece of pipe and hammer it in. Right so using the old ring I have got the new ring nearly all the way down. Still got another a half a centimeter just to push it down. So again I'm going to use the old ring placed on top of the new ring then use the pipe sitting on top of the old ring with a sledgehammer just to tap it in so for the final little bit I had to use my screwdriver on the very edge of the rim with a hammer just to tap it all the way down and I don't know if you can see now but that is now the ring made it all the way home I've already greased this bearing up as you can see 
I'm just going to pop some of this in the inside of the inside of the beer. And then this beer then is going to sit just in there. Now this is the seal, the new seal. I'm just going to pinch a wee bit of grease for that. Just pop it in the inside there. I'm going to load that up with some more grease off the grease bin. And then this is going to go with the spring, which is in there, to the inside. And it's just going to fit nicely there, get rid of that. And then with my hammer, my big soft hammer, I'm just going to gently chop that into place. Inside there. So now that that is on, we're going to put the wheel onto the axle. So the next, so the next thing we're going to do is this is a new bearing for the outside of the hub. You see, it's got the small hole in it. Hello, honey. And we need to fill up all this extra space with grease. So I've got my grease gun here, and the easiest way to do that without getting any dirt in it. See so there's a big hole there. I'm just gonna go like that, you see the grease coming up through. It's as if the bearing's eating the grease. Not. I'm just going to keep going round and round until you see the grease coming up through the top. You can see the grease, I don't know if you can see the grease there, just starting to come up through in between the bearings. off there the wee minute and go from the other end just to make sure we've got it as full of grease as we can and that is now your bearing loaded with grease So now we're going to put the wheel back onto the axle. Again, just making sure that your uh, brake caliper is out the way. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to slide the wheel back onto the axle. Just going to fill up the space in there with grease. Just pop it down a little bit. Now 
that that's all filled with grease. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the bearing in. And that just fits in nicely. See the bear in there? All in place. Okay, just close it there. Right. So, as you can see, the wheel is now turning nicely. We've still not got, I'm not going to spin it too fast because I've not got the castle nut on yet. So, we're just going to do a wee bit more grease. On the inside of the castle nut so it goes on nicely and then we're just gonna tighten that up and I'll just get my spanner okay so we're just gonna tighten up the castle nut So I've just used my hammer and a screwdriver just to tighten up the castle nut just that wee bit. But as you can see, the wheels look very lovely and smooth. And there's no give. It's shiggling because the whole carriage is shiggling, but there's no give when you to shiggle the carriage. The last thing we're going to do, apart from putting the hot cap on, is put the wee split pin in. A good idea is before you put the castle nut on and the wheel on is to check where the hole is that your split pin goes into. This one's quite handy because it's just right at the top here. So I've just bent my split pin slightly. Okay, so the last thing we do is there's a wee hole at the top and you just want to pop the split pin in. I'll just straighten it back up again after putting a wee twist on it. It goes all the way down. And then we'll turn it round. And then one side bends up. This side doesn't come out, that stops the Not from coming off. And the last thing we do is we pack this with grease as well. We're putting on the hubcap. And you just want to tighten that up. And to finish it off, we're just going to use the pinch just to tighten. And that's how you change the bearings on your wheel.